Well, watch this thing's gonna be a real bitch to start. <laughs> the one thing is uh, the battery with this disconnect. I don't want to get the drawdown on it, but the uh, you know, one thing I want to do get some starting fluid in here. And you know what I think is going to happen when this thing does finally start up? The idle is going to surge. And what happens when that happens? That's due to the carburetor getting gummed up. And you know what? Doesn't it gum out? Doesn't clean it. You know what I found out with how it cleans it, how you clean it, is to uh, take starting fluid and uh, just douse it down in there. Not what I'm doing now, but this is just to start it up. But after you douse it, you let it, you just stop the engine, douse a bunch of starting fluid in it, let it sit a few hours. And the starting fluid actually um, uh, will melt the uh, varnish in the carburetor better than any of the stupid uh, carb cleaner. It's just that you can't let it. You just that you know you got to let it sit a while before you try to get it started. So let's see what happens here, man. This thing's gonna be a bitch. Watch. That's a storing fluid. I still like carburetors better. I don't give a shit. Almost. 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 There you go. Not too bad. <laughs> Let's see what it idles like. Shut the camera off. Let's see how it idles after it warms up. Well, here's the problem. Just like I expected. The carburetor got gummed up. Let up the gas. Here's the idle. So here's the solution. <laughs> Starting fluid, man. <laughs> now, now when you're using this method, you gotta wait hours before you try to start it because I pour a lot. I open the throttle, and right now the throttle's closed. But I also, you know, the throttle's closed. I mean, I sprayed about way over 30 seconds worth of starting fluid in there, which is. A bomb, <laughs> but the thing is, I ain't gonna start it up right away, man. That's for sure. Matter of fact, it's probably getting down in the cylinders and washing away the varnish. But let it sit a few hours or so. It's still gonna be a bitch to start because you're gonna have to hold the gas pedal all the way down. But every time I did this, it cleared up that funky idle. Now, if we do that with gum out, it doesn't work. Because this stuff cleans out the gum better than gum out. It's just that it's way more volatile and you got to be careful with it. So, let's give it out a few hours setting and we'll see what happens. We'll come back. It'll take you two seconds for you guys, though. It'll take a few hours for me. Well, first, before we start this El Camino up, we got to feed boots. <laughs> God. He's coming, he's right waiting for me as soon as I walked out the door. And, uh, he had some dry food here, but like, he wouldn't die, but he wants wet food. He wants some, where did that, where did that stuff is. <laughs> right? Meow, 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 meow. Anyway, it's dark out, so let's see what we got. It's much later. Ugh. Ugh. 
at you, you dork. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, oh. Let's see what happens. Sounds better. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's still ice cold and it's idling fine. See that? If I did that with carb cleaner, it wouldn't work. But you know when I'm putting that much starting fluid, I don't know how many hours later this was, God probably like five hours later the engine's ice cold and it's even idling okay so and you can tell it was still a little bit flooded when I started it so that's how much junk I put in there probably probably like a minute blast of starting fluid that's why you don't start it up you let it sit a long time and it gets down in the carb you keep the plates open on it you open up the throttle the throttle make sure it chokes open get it down in there Engine's ice cold, it's idling around 850. No choke. I mean, right now it's warm though. See that? Now, if I did that with carb cleaner, wouldn't work. So, that's why I keep some of this junk in a car too. Some starting fluid. Damn, man. I don't know what, you know, gum out is okay and all that carb cleaners, but starting fluid, just that starting fluid is so much more volatile. Yeah, you gotta watch, man. It, you could blow up, man. That's the damn. That's the damn thing. But this works. It works with the lawnmowers too. And gum out just won't work, man. This stuff cleans them out good. Now, to me, that's a hot tip. Yeah, it works with the lawnmowers. Works with the motorcycles. Anything with a carburetor. So that's a hot tip, man. I don't see any tip like that on YouTube anywhere. And I just I found this out by accident. I just found this out maybe about six months ago or so that that stuff will just by spraying dousing the shit out of the carburetor for about a minute then letting it sit for four or five hours that'll clean the crap out of it and you like I said I'm, I'm I just said it five times already but if you try that with gum out or some other freaking carb cleaner it doesn't work you do it with starting fluid it's much stronger cleaner but you got to wait four or five hours you noticed even when I started up, it was still it was still a little uh, flooded out. But before, even after I warmed this up, this thing wouldn't even idle, man. It, it, it would barely idle, going brr, brr, like that, and then it would stall. Now it's still it's ice cold. It's idling great. Now how's that? And of course, you give Boots a little rest of his food, right? You okay there, buddy? You happy? Happy little guy. Well, I'm happy the car started. Runs good. <laughs> there he goes. So he's eating some dry stuff now, too.